these unrelenting days of isolation, cold and rain, I decided I needed to escape. So I turned to this older favorite. The story is set in Malaya in 1951. So for location, we're thinking Singapore and we're in remote mountains four hours from Kuala Lumpur. Our main character is Yun Ling and we meet her when she's 28 years old. She's the only female survivor of a Japanese internment camp. Hmm. Determined to build a memorial garden in honor of her sister who did not survive, Yun Ling seeks out Aritomo, who is the celebrated former gardener to the Emperor of Japan. And she asks him to design a garden, and he says, No, I will never do a commissioned garden again. After a great deal of persuasion on her part, he says, well, maybe you could apprentice to me until the next monsoon, and you might have learned enough to devise a garden of your own. There's so much beauty in this book. The gardens, the plants that are chosen, where they're going to be placed in relationship to other flowers, the stones, the rocks, the water features, how they all work together to send a very specific message. There's also art in the form of paintings and woodblock prints, perfectly elegant rice paper lanterns that are sent into the air at night, the imperfect ones destroyed. Also traditional tattoo art called Hori Momo, which you can look up online and is amazing. There's darkness in the book as well. Yunling is a lawyer and becomes only the second female judge on the Supreme Court. She is always searching for the location of those secret internment camps where she and her sister were held. Those camps seem to have vanished without a trace. As a judge, she's extremely harsh and aggressive in prosecuting the Chinese terrorists who pulled her and her sister and thousands of others out of their homes. We meet her once again when she's 64. She has suddenly and without explanation stepped down from her very prominent judgeship and returned to the garden she left decades before. There are so many small details in this book that make it a real pleasure to read. The plot is intricate and keeps you turning those pages. And there are lots and lots of questions you want answered. Like, first of all, how did she survive that camp? And how did she get out? And what circumstances led Ari Tomo to leave the prestigious job of head gardener to the emperor of Japan? And what exactly is the relationship? between Ari Tomo and Yun Ling. In addition to being a great read, this is, of course, fabulous for book club. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.